Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed King Mechazod of the Mechanomes. And today, we will be making our way over to the Temple of Ankala eventually. But first, we're going to be heading west, where you're going to get the upper horn half for the quest, the Horn of Elemental Fury. We need to get it off of one of the Gorlocks, or Gurlocks, <laughs> whatever they're called. It's funny how they change all the names of the of the mobs up in Northrend. All right, so let's do this. What's over here? Scourged Earth, bad Earth. I wonder what they mean by that. I wonder how you get. Oh, you get it from these guys. Okay, so we'll slay these guys. I gotta get my poisons up. Hope everyone's doing well today. I'm having a pretty good day so far. Had a close encounter on my hardcore rogue, which kind of startled me a bit. But we survived. It'd be a shame, like, if I died that road. Been leveling them for a long time. And we're level 54 at the moment. And I'm hoping to get level 60 before they end these into mastery. It's a hardcore character, so if I die, I lose uh I lose the character. I had a pretty close encounter with, uh, with an ogre. So where's this earth that these guys are talking about? Like, I slayed these guys. The bad earth. Do we have to, like, use anything for that? No, it's just, I think you just loot it. Alright, well, we'll focus on that a little bit later. So we'll just keep on heading west. We're going to have to escort a mammoth calf, Kunok. wonder how that's going to be. Escort quests are usually a pain. Are we just going to be able to take this? Oh, no we're not. There he is, Chieftain Burble Gobble. See what he drops. Got the key. So it looks like you need a key to get it. And there we go. We got the upper horn half. If I can make it over there with the rocket boots, I'll give it a try. Well, that's not look looking like we got enough air there. I'm gonna get shut down. It's too bad. I can get up here. Look at that wolf, it's like full of sludge. <laughs> sludge works. Oh man. Knocked me off my mount. if you give us any engineering supplies. Nice. This is a good place to get uh, cobalt bolts. That's all I know. Like, if I ever need cobalt bolts, I'm coming here and just slaying a bunch of robots. And we got something else from it, too. Like, oh, this stuff here. Yeah, the volatile blasting trigger. Damn, our bags are a little messy right now. Got a lot of quest items. 
All right, so there's a mammoth calf. What do we got to do to him? Kunok will know. How do we deliver him? Take the orphan to mammoth calf? Orphaned. So he's got to be a little bit different. Oh. Is there a quest here? Oh, complete. What the heck? You hear a voice in your head. It's Kunok. That's Kunok? Oh. Your name has been heard in the whistling winds, Freddy Krizzler. You have done a great thing to my kin. Or my kin. For this, we will consider you an ally. Alas, our torment cannot end without bloodshed and violence. The price of peace for the mammoths will be the death of Ka. I wonder who Ka is. You cannot defeat the being responsible for the slaughter of my kind. By yourself, the mammoths of the tundra will help you. Venture forth to the plains and find a mammoth bull. He will allow you to mount him and control his movements and actions. Ride upon his back and find Ka. North of here at Ka's roost. Together you will be the instrument of Ka's demise. Destroy Ka's armies and take your Ka from Ka, his coveted war halberd. Return to Lathorius at the Deta encampment should he succeed. Okay. All right, so we have to go over here, I guess. Don't we have to mount one of these guys? Yeah, there is one. Okay. It's kind of cool. Did you look at that? That looks awesome, actually. Look at this guy. This would be an awesome mount. Alright, so we got some abilities here. Damage ability right here. It's got a charge. And it stuns for three seconds. And we also have... Hardress... And he's got like a little fear. Like an AoE fear. Who's Ka? Well, oh, these are the- oh, wow. Some horde guys. Get him. Boom. Get wrecked. I don't know why I need help. These guys aren't even elites. I feel sort of as mammoth, you might die. Ka the mammoth. I think we could kill him by ourselves. Charge this guy. You challenge Ka, destroyer of the mammoths? Then face me and feel my thunder. Is he gonna jump on his mammoth? Oh, here we go, we gotta have a mammoth war. Put this guy down, there we go. I don't know if we can beat him. Gotta get Moira down. We have a mammoth battle. I wonder if he heals up over time. Yeah, he does, but it's pretty damn slow. Wish he had, like, a heal. So what we'll do is we'll charge... Hit him with our hit. Oh, wow, he got rocked there. Moira's gonna get this totally wrecked. You wanna fight? Gotta give him a charge. Get rocked. Feel the wrath of the mammoths. You got another charge. Damn, he's dazed us. Can't let him kill the mammoth I'm on. Cause Halbert breaks in two and falls to the ground. Alright. Let this mammoth go. Did his job. We got the Halbert. We slayed Ka the Mammoth Destroyer. 
And supposedly now we got to go all the way to data. So I guess we'll head down there. Why not? They don't have any animal blood on our hands, so we should be okay with them. I always think there's, like, data members inside of uh, Tonka Village, so I always try to make sure I don't have the debuff while I go in there, too. They seem to really care about nature as well. And wildlife. But I could be wrong, maybe you're allowed to go in there at the debuff. Okay. What happened? Latorius takes the halberd from you. Is this what I think it is? Latorius grins. Smashing. Outstanding. Another of Nessingwary's lackeys brought to justice. Alright, so we got a leather helmet that we won't wear. And then there's the data overshirt. I guess we'll just take the plate boots. And we have another quest. The assassination of Harold Lane. You have done much for the animals of the Morian Tundra, Freddy Kriller. Nessingwary's lackeys have been beaten back and taught a lesson that they will not soon forget. Harold Lane, the primary agent responsible for the mass slaughters in Negrand, has been identified as the main, the man in charge of Nessingwary's operations in the Tundra. He is stationed at Lake Kumuya, west of here. Thorius hands you an intricately carved oak horn. Find Lane and kill him. Use this horn should you... You require our aid. Alright, so we'll get this horn here. Put that, uh... Let's put that here. It'd be interesting if, you, like, the Alliance side does quests for all these, like, nesting wary guys that we're slaying. Like, I could imagine the Mammoth Destroyer guy, Ka. He could probably give you a bunch of, like, mammoth-killing quests. But I think the Alliance probably get the data quests, too. The heck? Oh. Is that him? Arrow Lane. It's kind of like a badass. Let's get a nice peek of him. Oh, wow. Like he can see us. Okay. Just we'll have a bite to eat. We'll use the horn. Why not? I feel like giving it a try. I wonder what we're eating here. I guess that body there. This is so weird. Look at this. Why can't I stealth? It must be lag, man. That guy should be, like, running at us. What the heck is going on? <laughs> okay, I'm vanishing. This is so silly. I'm probably dead. Oh, man. Good old World of Warcraft. So I don't know what to do here. We'll wait for a bit. We'll see how far we can go like this. I'm trying to vanish because I have a feeling I'm getting attacked right now. I wonder why I bugged out. It just doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop eating the ground. And I can't go back. It's kind of hard for me to turn. Yeah, I don't know what to do. What do I do? Just slash reload? That's my guess. See what happens. Still here. <laughs> this is so dumb. Alright, guys. Well, I hope I don't have to log out. Alright, guys. We're back. We are finished with uh, the non-stop cannibalization. 
It's like the game fixed itself after I logged out. And now we are going to be fighting against Harold Lane. So let's give this a try. I think we'll go in with uh, the cheap jet. And then we'll get the uh, call of the, the data guys here. Wow, look at this. All the animals. Get them. Wow, they just trampled the crap out of them. Set a trap on us. Should do a decent amount of damage. Harold laying down. Kind of worried about eating this guy. We'll see what happens. Nope, they're not allowing me to do it. That was so cool to see the stampede of them just come in and just wreck them all. So let me get this straight. I give Lane 15 mammoth trunks and he gives me a set of daggers that I can use as steak knives. How does he do it? How does he make such amazing deals? I wonder if he's a quest giver. Alas, this thing where he's gone, perhaps. He was never here to begin with. Yep, but I think too. Thorius laughs. The demon is a slippery one, but his days are numbered. We will find him when we do. Yeah, I don't even think he's here, man. Not a bad ring. But not better than our other rings. It's close, though. Good luck, friend. Data's little PETA. I wonder what that means, P-I-T-I. -I. Uphold Data's beliefs by completing all of the quests up to and including the assassination of Harold Lane. And there we go, guys. Alright, so what are we going to be doing now? I guess we're going to be heading back... The Tonkala Village. I wonder if I should just... Just hearth there. Yeah, I'm gonna hearth. Got a lot of these boxes. I'm just gonna sell a couple of things. It's crazy how the bags fill up this quick. Ah, I've been expecting you. Where are those boots? We had some boots that we, uh, we got for a quest. There they are. And those ears. We don't, we don't want the ears. I'm not sure what to do with the ring. I'll have to check it out later. Morning Glory do. We don't want that. There we go. That should be good for now. Alright, so let's turn in this quest over here. Yeah, we got the electricity all over us. Wish to speak. Were you able to find the horn? Was the legend true? Barak accepts the pieces of the horn from you and begins trying to fit them together. Stormhoof would be proud of you, Freddy Griller, perhaps when we've dealt with the Scourge. I will take the horn with me on a pilgrimage to Stormhoof's tomb. Ancestors, watch over you. Oh wow, look at this. This is pretty epic here. Oh wow, they summoned him. With the power of the horn, I bind you to its wielder's will. I've created and bound Alubius using the Horn of the Elemental Fury. He will respond to the horn call when you stand near the south southernmost sinkhole in the geyser fields. The quake Alubius 
will unleash should collapse the Nerubian tunnels and put an end to their flanking attack. I wouldn't be surprised if the Nerubian commander showed himself after the quake. If the collapse of the tunnels doesn't break the back of their assault, the defeat of their leader surely will. Winds be at your back. All right, so let's do this. And I'm not sure if we'll get into Aranicus today, which seems like we have a lot of uh, other quests we need to do. I didn't know we had this many quests, but we will make our way into Aranicus soon. So we have to disrupt all of the Nerubian tunnels. Here's the horn here. Is there one here? It's like kind of telling me to use it here. Yeah, there's no sinkhole, what the heck? Okay, I'm just gonna go to the sinkhole. Maybe that's just an error with the the add-on. Maybe that just tells you where to get the horn. Look at that, that's the leader right there. Lord Chris Hicks. Looks like we're going to be fighting him again. This guy's attacking us, though. He's, got us, <laughs> he's in a nice spot. <laughs> Okay, where's... I don't know what to do. How do I get out of here? Well, now he goes down. Now he goes down. Oh, we chopped him up good. Let's have a bite to eat, and then we'll... Get this horn going. There he is, Alluvius. Let's see what he does. Starts to rumble in the earth, and then look who it is. Foolish elemental slave, you and your master will pay for your meddling. Oh, you just to totally wrecked him. Just oh, got a couple of points off on him. There we go, Nerubian down. I think those guys should be like elites. Like the leader, like the same with King Makazod. He should have been a much tougher fight, I think. How may I aid you? Have you unleashed Alluvius and destroyed the Nerubian assault? Your efforts against the Nerubians have given us a reprieve from the overwhelming Scourge assault. Thanks to your accomplishments, we can strike at the Scourge fortress to the northeast without fear of attack from the west. As for the horn, I will safeguard it until next we need its power. Stormhoof gave his life to secure the horn, and we cannot suffer its loss again. All right, looks like we're going to be picking up some more plate boots. We'll be Wolf selling those. Yeah, I don't really zoom in because it... I don't know, the, the lightning is just... I don't know. It's just hard to look at. You wish to speak? Like, usually I zoom in to, like, talk to quest givers, but... The lighting kind of makes it a little bit... I don't know, it makes me kind of nauseous. <laughs> okay, so here's the Scourged Earth. We actually need to do this quest now, so we'll do this. And we'll slowly make our way east. I'm surprised we haven't got any Scourged Earth yet. Makes me think that we're doing something wrong. Bring eight clods of Scourged Earth to Chief to Wintergale at Tonkawa Village. This is for the... 
By, cur by curing the hides with the blighted earth outside the temple city, Sage Airy believes that she can create a cloak which will cause most of the Scourge minions to ignore your presence. You should blend right in, she says. She'd best be correct. It's our only chance to gather information and plan our counterattack. You should be able to find the earth she needs poking in the areas to the south and west of the fortress. Bring it to me when you finish gathering. Yeah, so they don't really tell you anything other than just get it. There's nothing we have to do. There's no quest item. But these guys aren't giving us anything. I've played like over five so far. And we haven't got one. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's in the ground after? Like, maybe it's like not on these guys. Maybe it's like actually something we can just pick up. But usually with that, you can see it, right? Usually it's like sparkling on. Like in Wrath, anything that you need to pick up is like sparkling. That's usually easy to find. These guys haven't given us anything. Yeah, I'm a little lost. We're just getting a lot of fish oil. Supposedly we need to do this quest if we want to get into Ankara. Some ice fin fillets there. Alright, so he says you can find it. Poking in the areas to the south and west of the fortress. Yeah, I think this is, like, just wrong. I don't think these, like, little Gorlocks drop it. So we'll head over here and just actually look for the earth popping out of the ground. There it is. Yeah, there was nothing said about, like, having to kill Gorlocks for it. Oh, the mammoths are attacking us. These are the corrupted mammoths, though. So it's okay. You don't get a debuff from them. Yeah, it's okay to kill these ones. Data has deemed them, uh, part of the Scourge, I guess. These guys are actually new to Wrath. Well, I guess you can't say new, but... They weren't in, um... The old games. I kind of like fighting the Scourge more than... Than the Burning Legion. I 
I just like the, the aesthetic of Discourage more. And then what's the other ones? The old gods? They have some weird looking um, mobs as well. I think I like uh, the Burning Legion more than than the old gods. It's a lot of like tentacly stuff. These guys kind of look, have that like look too, though. Scourge and the old gods they are kind of similar with the design. Like the mobs you fight are really weird looking. So where will the I guess we'll go a little bit north. Let's see if we can find some more of this dirt that we need to find. One of the Tonkala evacuees they got completely wrecked. Now we got vultures going down, taking bites out of them. So there we go. We got the scourged earth. Right, should we make our way? I guess we'll clean up these quests too. Why not? And then after we do all these, we should have, we should be starting the quest chain to enter into uh, the Temple of Ankala. And that will probably be the final quest chain, I believe, for the Borean, Borean Tundra. And then we'll be making our way to Dragonblight. So what do we got to do here? El Ram is Scourge Destroyed. I think there's only one inside of there. So it's not really worth... ...going in there just for one kill. Look at this fallen... Necropolis here. It's about time we got to a new zone too. It seems like we're now leveling this zone by quite a bit. I think that's what happens when you start at level 70. Like I think they expect most people to come here like level 68 while they're leveling up. Here. I wonder if I can group all these guys up. Maybe I'm like having a little trouble. All 
Alright, see. I really like the killing spree ability. I must say it's not as cool as a warrior whirlwind, but it's close. Warrior Whirlwind's probably one of the cooler abilities. I don't know, Chain Lightning's up there too. I really like that ability. Wonder what another one, another good one would be. DK Grip. I think that's like the coolest DK ability. Boomkin would be... A druid would be Typhoon. It's by far the best druid ability. I think it's only Boomkin too. Maybe it's all druids. Not too sure. What happens when I kill all these guys? We'll finish off the last two. Probably nothing. They seem to be like feeding this crystal. Wonder if it'll break. Maybe they're like repairing the necropolis with it. Yeah, nothing happens. We need to turn that soon. Is it in that we're gonna crop once? We have to find Bristlehorn. I guess he's inside. Didn't notice that. Not sure what a cool warlock ability is. I'm not gonna say fear, like fear's okay. <laughs> Mind control is by far the best priest one, in my opinion. Mage? Not sure. Probably that, like, big fireball ability? I am not long for this world, little undead. There are two that must be killed. The Doctor and the Lich Lord are above. Find them, destroy them before it's too late. Be careful. Alright, so how do we get up there? That's the real question. Looks like that's the way up. 
Maybe the crystal will take us there. Did he give us any clue how to get up there? I don't think he did. There seems to be a little door there. This is the way up. What what happened to this thing? Maybe we just got shot out of the sky. Alright, here we go. There he is, Dr. Razorgrin. Kind of looks like Professor Putricide. Looks kind of cool, actually. And then we got another one, the Cult Plaguebringer. Where's the other guy? We can take a look at this guy here. It's like a giant undead. Oh, look, he can see us. Alright, let's get rid of him. Fresh meat. Says the same thing as the butcher from Diablo. Lord, which Lord Win Chill Winter, faster we must be flying by the end of the day, or the Lich King will destroy us for certain. I guess he's got to go to another level. That's a little bit higher. guy. It's like a wannabe Kalthazad. Well, he's just a lich. I guess this is how they all look. This guy should be an elite, man. That's one thing about Classic that I really liked, is like, they made a lot of stuff elites. Alright, this is gonna be a cool spot to jump off of. We might die on our way down, though. But I want to try it. We'll fight some, uh... Depends how long we have our, our parachute up for. It's gonna be up pretty soon, 8 seconds. Hopefully we can get all the way over here. We want to aim this way. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. We got six seconds on our parachute. I think we'll be okay. We're a rogue. Shouldn't be that bad of a fall. It wasn't too bad. We got pretty far. I'm from here to here. Well met. The doctor and the Lich Lord. <laughs> Bristlehorn is dead. I should have never let him go there by himself. The Great Mother will need to know, Freddy Critter. Will you please return to Tonkale? Tell her that I will be following shortly. Walk with the Earth Mother. Fallen Necropolis. Thank you, Freddy Critter. The Lich King and his scourge are a blight upon Northern. We must not stop until they are true they are all truly dead, and his existence is put to an end. Okay, we got a trinket here that we don't need. Leather chest we won't wear. So I guess we'll just take the plate Maybe belt. Eternal sun shine. And yeah, now we'll head back to Tonkale. We'll turn in these other two quests. And that will leave us with uh, probably entering the Temple of Enkela for next episode. 
We still have to do this quest. I'm going to try to do this. I hope we can get it done. You kind of have to catch him at the right time. There's like a circle of Cavaldir bike rule, and they're all like forcing these two prisoners to fight. One's a Naga and the other's a, a Tuscar. So you need like all of those guys to be spawned, and usually they're not. What brings you here? What word do you bring from High Mesa? You explain what you know and give the Great Mother the bad news concerning Longrunner Bristlehorn. My, my grandson. The Great Mother fights to keep control of her emotions. He died an honorable death like a true Tonka. You were the last to be with him, Freddy Gridler, so he shall always be a part of you. I give you my thanks for completing his last wishes. We got a plate helm here. Those boots, a little bit more armor on those boots. 21 Agi. 16 Expertise. Well, these are rocket boots. Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> probably, yeah, these are probably not better than the boots we the other boots we got. Yeah, they're not. Walk with the earth. So there we go. It's another quest down, and I think we got one more to turn in here. The bad earth. The winds guide. Do you have the earth sage area needs to complete the cloak? Chieftain Wintergale gingerly accepts the cl clods of soil you gathered. We should get this into Sage Harry's hands as soon as possible. The chieftain grunts, pretending not to be disturbed by the tainted dirt. Could never know when the Scourge Commander will launch the final assault on the village. Alright, so I guess we'll pick up this quest next episode. I have a feeling it's going to lead us into the Temple of Ankala. That is going to be the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.